Inside a Logan Square manufacturing company right now, police are also looking for more suspects. Jewel Hillary is joining us now from Area 5 Police Station with details on this. Jewel. Hi, Lord and Ray. So it was a frightening and intense start to work yesterday for some fierce manufacturing company employees when they headed in to start their shift. Uh, some suspects pulled up, pulled out a gun and threatened to kill them. All of it was caught on camera. And right now we'll show you that exclusive video. Man. Just before 645 Wednesday morning, a fierce manufacturing company employee named Irma was stopping to get food at this food truck in the 3800 block of West Cortland Street. Moments later, a dark car pulls up. One person gets out and waits a few seconds before pulling out a gun on the food truck owner, frisking and robbing him. The guy okay, Mossy, what do you do right here? Mossy, this guy's standing there. He's just some guy in line. You're getting some food. This is this guy works here. He works at the place. But you're 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 her, and you stop. The, you work right here. Yeah. You stop right here to get some food. You see this guy. You instantly pull out and blow his brains up just for standing there. Or do you right. try to buy some food? I, I don't. I don't just pull my gun out and blow his brains out. I keep an eye out for whoever's around me. Whatever's around me, whether it be a car, a person, a van, anything like that. Anything that seems either ordinary to me. I just, I just, I keep it. So I, what? I mean, Hold I, on. What was Tell me what about looks this? out of, yeah, please explain to us what looks this out of the order. This food truck in the 3800 block of West Cortland Street. That they're Almost black? later, a dark car. A car. A car. Uh, She's not even looking that way. Right. So what I'm is it? be real, though. Uh, they, they should have been paying off the gang. Whatever that gang is, they should have been paying off that gang yeah, to protect that fucking These guys are fucking, fucking truck. rough friends. They don't you. Care. You could see, you get suspicious the way that car pulled up all slow and stuff. Yeah. I yeah. knew something was going down. Then I would turn around. Come on, come on. And then yeah, these guys on. get out and leave the doors open and the car running in the middle of the street. She's not even looking. At <laughs> that. That's a She's flag. That's a flag, man. That's a wrap. Hold, hold on, hold on. If you're buying food and you're under, you're here and you're buying food. In your mind, even if you saw that car, you think it's going down the street. No, no, I can food. hear it. Ock. I can hear it. I would, I, I would, if, if I was if, if putting myself in this, in this, in, in that situation, if I saw a car, if I hear a car, I, my, 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 my focus on is in that direction. If I see a car, first thing I notice is blacked out windows. And for also cars, a lot of cars have blacked out well, windows. I, 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 everyone's a, a, I know you guys, everyone's an expert when the camera's on, man. Yeah, like, I don't know. She's probably just trying Monday to get night some night food. She's hungry. Well, like she's said, not even thinking about anything, not even paying, paying attention to her surroundings. She's just trying to get some food. Her so she's work, her job is right bro. here. She works right here. This is here because it's this right. place is the, here the because coach. these people are right it's here. A fucking yeah. road I, I, I understand this. Understand this is armchair quarterbacking, but I'm only saying that just knowing knowing how, knowing how I am, I'm, I I just look for, I look for things like that. Anything that seems like it could be. You'll have a heart threat. attack. I just, I just like, oh, okay, so what? what, what yeah, you you couldn't live here, man. You have a heart you, attack. You couldn't live you here. Have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hey, I, not not to. I will to my CI. Yeah, if every car drew this much attention from you, you would have a fucking heart attack. And you'd be gray next time you came on this fucking show. You'd be fucking gray as shit, like you were president for fifteen years. <laughs> There's five million people in that city right there, bro. And in Logan yeah. Square, that's just packed as hell, man. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I hear you, Mozzie, but like that shit is fucking. Right, exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna bro. survive in right this city. Now, we'll show you. Yeah. Yo, I you know, with all due respect to Mozzie, right? Tell me you're not in the rag without telling me. You're not in the rag. <laughs> Wednesday morning, a beer's manufacturing company employee named Irma was stopping to get food at this food truck in the 3800 block of West Cortland Street. Moments later, a dark car pulls up. One person gets out and waits a few seconds before pulling out a gun on the food truck owner, frisking and robbing him. The guy oh, put the gun to the guy to sell food and then said, give me the money. And then I said, oh, my God. Real. Two other suspects get out of the car. One gets away with Irma's purse. Understandably, she says the traumatic turn of events has her on edge coming to work now. No, I feel really nervous to come here. As two of the suspects focus on the food truck, a third suspect sees another woman behind the truck sitting in her car. When the, the guy <laughs> sees me... <laughs> <They're just> <laughs> <laughs> they should have just shouted, Black Lives Matter. Maybe they would have left them be. Ma, she's stupid. She's supposed to spit off. 
fly, 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 dead. He probably didn't even see it. It's possible you could not see this. For sure. You probably How did she know the car was pulling up slow on the side of her? The yeah, guy had jumped out already. Cars everywhere in Chicago. And the guy had jumped out already. Pay attention to every car. And oh yeah, you're right. This I'm thinking. I'm thinking from a Memphis mindset because you Memphis is smaller. So you can't pay attention to every fucking no, city, bro. Man, there's two cars. There's three vehicles involved in this scenario. It, it, this ain't rush hour, bro. This is six thirty in the fucking morning on a slow street. Bro, Chicago is. Is you got New York, LA, and Chicago, man. That shit is big, bro. It is Be, fucking packed. You know what I would have done, Chief? To be, and I don't want to like sound like I'm just like bogus, right? But what I would have done is I'm there, and I get I always got my gun on me. I would have seen that that uh that young brother, and I would have immediately kept eyes on him with my and with my pistol in mind. Not that I'm gonna hurt him, but I might have to. And it, you don't even gotta be a brother. Well, Quick, he pulls out the gun. Look how quick he goes from being just some sun man standing there towards a gun in your face. Yeah, but do you see her? Do you you see those two people, Chief? They put their back to the brother. A few seconds. Why not? He brothers come up and buy food all day. But Logan Square is nice, though, bro. Like Like Logan Square is like gentrified. But but even in that, like I said, Chief. Ark, would you put your back to him? Brothers come up and buy food all day. I put my back to brothers all the time. All the time. I'm not, not all, I'm not just like, that'll get you in trouble. Yo, oh, man, you know what I'd have done? I'd have got robbed. Maybe I'm traumatized, Chief. Call me crazy. Let me tell you something, Monsi. Monsi. Eyeballing and looking at niggas all funny in D.C. will get you in a whole lot of trouble. Okay. Fuck you! Look, what the fuck? What's up? You sure get you in what? trouble with me? What? Because I don't <laughs> like I don't like to get stared at. You ain't got to stare at somebody to keep an eye on. Them. Right, right, yeah. exactly. Like I don't care if they are. They when a glider woman stare at me, they really pissing me off. <laughs> look at this. Pulling watch, out a watch gun how on a food quick. truck owner. It's just that quick. It's just that quick. He's 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 some he's some sun man standing there waiting to get some tacos. Takes a few to, seconds before pulling out a gun on the food truck. Boom! It's a gun in your face. Now you what you gonna you gonna kick you gonna roundhouse kick the gun out of his hand, take it because you don't run behind here for cover and have a shootout with these two. I mean, come on, man! Like the, sometimes there's nothing you can do, and that's why they come like that. That's why they do this because they know there's nothing anybody can do about this. No, this this it's Owner. not that there's nothing that anyone can do. It's just that it's at that point it, it's it's up it's up for grabs. Because But because, even the gangs ain't tight though, bro. Like back in the day, the gangs used to have that shit locked up. Like you couldn't run you couldn't rob cats because they, they was getting paid off. But like even that is is done. Yeah, yeah there's no structure and, over here, bro. And, 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 and I used no to structure say, over here. I used to work late night by myself at a hot dog shop and I was out and I was, I was instructed to, you know, if, if, so, if something happened, you'll give up the money. And I said, well, wait a minute. I don't know if they'll ever be satisfied with that. Cause it was, cause there was, cause there was, there was, was a disagreement between my, my manager and I about me carrying at work. Oh. The owner, the owner was fine with it. He had no problem, but she, but she, but she thought it was, she thought it would look bad. With other customers seeing that, and I said, "Well, I work. By, I'm working by myself at this place at late at night. I don't know if, even if I did give up the give up the money in the register, I don't know if it's. I, I can't say that's a guarantee that I'm going to be safe. So that, so that's, so that's why, I, that's why I, I think, that's why I had the thought of, I don't know if giving up, I don't know if not fighting back is going to is guaranteed to work, but fighting These back has, not, has a not, potential. Of working. Must, must, must. These people are not not fighting back. These people are." Fucking buying food and they gun in their face. <laughs> you know what I'm like this is not not fighting back. This is just a fucking dude just standing there, and the next second he got a gun in your face. Just give him the money, and so you can live. That's all you can do. Just take the L. Also, I was there's, speaking on. There's um, no guarantee you're gonna live. There is that's no guarantee yeah. you're gonna that's, live, that's, yeah, and we've seen that around. over and over again. Well, just yeah. make sure you live your life right every day. <laughs> Two of the suspects focus <laughs> on the food truck. Well. The third suspect sees another woman behind the truck sitting in her car. When the, the guy see me, is it come to run and say, 
open the window, open the window. I kill you, I kill you, I want to kill you. In shock, <laughs> Patricia made a split second decision not to roll down the window. When the guy came to me, I said, what I can do now is open the door or no. It's the big decision. During the horrific ordeal, the suspects also threatened the food truck owner's wife sitting in the truck's front seat before putting a gun to her husband's head. Thankfully, no one was injured. Something else has to be done to make these streets safer for people. There's a lot of kids around here. Bill Ackerley, operations manager for Beers Manufacturing, says everyone at Beers is like family, and he's beyond grateful no one was physically hurt. When you come here and see their faces and see everybody's okay, that was a big relief. Now, employees Shout out to all the burritos. Beers Manufacturing. There are several schools and residents in the area, and they hope that police will beef up patrols in the neighborhood. Additionally, management for beer says, in addition to having lights around the building, cameras, and then walking employees out when it's dark, they're going back to the drawing board to figure out additional ways to help employees feel as safe as <laughs> I need to let that guy pull in the building. Yeah, them burrito gangs in L.A. used to keep that shit safe to get tacos late night, bro. So shout out to them cats. One of the first things they can do to keep employees safe is stop listening to the dumbass employees that uh, are yelling for defund the police. Matter of fact, they should they should take a poll of the employees who wanted that shit and all the ones who said they wanted it. They should fire them. Yeah. Hmm. That's harsh. But Let, sure. Let's yeah. face it, man. Yeah. Most of the people working in there ain't even citizens. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then there's that. Yo, Mayo, somebody's got to work, right? Oh, I'm just saying. I, I, I'm just saying. No, most too. of I'm them aren't, saying, aren't citizens, I, I, and I'm and most likely too. they wouldn't vote for defunding the police. Yo, but I'm just saying, too, man. Yo, somebody's got to work, right? Who's gonna work, man? Uh, one of those They're three fighting? guys out there. <laughs> the, are, are the gliders gonna work? Oh my gosh! Oh, they're gonna work. I don't. Oh, they'll work. They're working. I don't even carry cash on me. Like in Memphis, I wasn't carrying cash on me. So like, if a Negro was to steal my purse, okay, okay, you got my debit card. What you gonna do? I'm gonna call my bank, shut it off, get my money back. You got cash app on your phone? Yeah, that's probably what they do. They tell you that's so. what they do. Okay, probably ain't no money in the account anyway. So what? They don't care. They're, they're don't probably decline. Good kill you. <laughs> But still, look, this still don't guarantee that they won't kill you. Yeah. Just be ready every day, y'all. Everybody listen. Just be prepared. One day we all gonna die. <laughs>